Welcome to the Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom podcast with Jacob Ayers, providing actionable content to help you along your journey to financial freedom through real estate investing. As the premier asset class, real estate has helped ordinary people just like you amass fortunes. The benefits of passive income from real estate investing will allow you to live a life you want. And now your host, entrepreneur, real estate investor, and apartment deal syndicator, Jacob Ayers. Hi, and welcome to the Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom podcast, episode 49. You're listening to Friday Fundamentals with your host, Jacob Ayers. Today, our Friday Fundamental is tackling problems head on. Have you ever completed a long day's work, looked back, and wondered what meaningful task you accomplished? Do you feel like sometimes you're just spinning your wheels, trying to get things done, or running around like a chicken with its head cut off? In this episode, we're going to review a few tactics that will help you become more productive, effective, and efficient. It's important to develop a habit of addressing problems, important tasks, and things that require your attention head on. It's actually much easier to do than you think, too. Alfred A. Montefort said, Expect problems and eat them for breakfast. Gary Keller and Jay Papasan teach a strategy in their book, The One Thing. This strategy teaches you to identify and accomplish the one thing that you can do such that by doing it, everything else will be easier or unnecessary. Coupling this one thing strategy with the attitude of tackling your one thing head on will make you an unstoppable productivity machine. So let's dive into exactly how you can master this. First, read The One Thing. This book will help you understand why it's important to identify just one thing rather than frantically checking off items on your lengthy to-do list. The act of addressing problems head-on is more of a mental battle, and I'm going to share some tips that help me take on the challenges with all of my effort. It all starts when you first wake up. For many, this waking up process takes multiple 9-minute attempts. Yes, we all know that dreaded snooze button. Who created that thing anyways? It certainly wasn't Albert Montefort. Instead of hitting the snooze on your alarm clock in the morning, wake up immediately and take on the day with full steam. The very first thing I like to do is make my bed. Sounds simple enough, right? Every morning as I'm brushing my teeth and adjusting to what seems like 10 million lumens of light shining down on me, I look at my bed and think to myself, if I can't make my bed, what can I do? It sounds silly, but it motivates me to get the first thing out of my day done. And just like that, I'm on a roll. I've waken up and immediately accomplished my first goal. Essentially, I've knocked down the first domino for my day. This sets the tone for the rest of my day. Throughout your day, you're going to be swarmed with a multitude of decisions. It's commonly agreed that the average human makes about 35,000 decisions every single day. By picking the most important decision that will have a domino effect in doing that, you'll eliminate some of these decisions. Sometimes there are things that we all dread doing and will do almost anything else just to avoid them. I'm sure you can think of a task like this. In my experience, the task itself isn't all that bad. After you've accomplished it, it doesn't really seem so bad. So why not just take this same approach and tackle it head on next time? As a real estate investor, or anything in this life for that matter, there will be issues that you must address, both big and small. Don't avoid them. Tackle them head on. With this mentality, you'll be able to accomplish more than you thought possible. Tackling important tasks will seem like a challenge you can't wait to take on. So get out there and continue to crush your goals with this eat your problems for breakfast mentality. That wraps up this week's episode of Friday Fundamentals. I hope you're getting value out of the show. If you've liked what you've heard so far, please leave the show a rating and review on whichever platform you're listening on. As always, if you have any questions or comments or want to hear something or someone specific on the show, reach out to me. You can contact me at www.jacobairs.com forward slash contact or connect with me on Facebook at The Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom. Till next week, signing off, I'm your host, Jacob Ayers. You've been listening to The Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom podcast, providing you actionable content to build your real estate empire. Nothing on this show should be considered specific, personal, or professional advice. 
please consult an appropriate tax, legal, real estate, financial, or business professional for personal advice. The opinions of guests are their own. Information is not guaranteed. All investment strategies have a potential for profit or loss. The host is operating on behalf of the Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom LLC exclusively.